finger. It's about the size of a peanut M&M, all right? Now, these fibers that come off of it, here they show them as uh, yellow and green. Those are rootlets, rootlets, okay? When you bind them together, like at 23 there, that's a root, all right? There are ventral rootlets here, ventral root, where they merge out here at uh, 26 to 28, this is a nerve, okay? All right? So this is mixed, this is motor, this is sensory, okay? Dorsal root sensory, ventral root motor. When they merge, then you have mixed because you've got both functions, okay? All right? And you can look at the other anatomy here as you go through that today. Um, that would be, I'll just leave one of those up here. Then the other thing you want to take a look at today is this. On the anatomy here, it talks about brain anatomy. We've already dissected the sheep brain. Obviously, we did that a week ago. But I do have brain models out on everybody's tabletop. There should be a brain model somewhere near you. And you should be able to identify the different structures here, except for like, you know, we left off those peduncles, we left off the mammary body. But the rest of this, you should be able to identify on the brain model. A lot of the brain models will pull apart in half, so you can see the corpus callosum, the fornix, and things like that. So you can pull it apart and see the parts inside. When we get to the test in March, I'll have both brain models and sheep brains on it, okay? Both will be on it. So you should be able to take what you learned about the sheep brain and transfer that to the human brain, okay? Everything will be bigger on the human brain. It's easier to see it that way, all right? Any questions with that today? So look at that spinal part.